In this video, we're going to be constructing a quadratic polynomial and manipulating it to understand how the quadratic works. So how do we do this in GeoGebra? Well, first I'm going to enter in f of x equals x squared. You type that in, hit enter, and you get your polynomial. Now you can easily manipulate this polynomial by selecting it over here in the algebra view and then pressing the up or the down or the left or right keys and now I think this is a great opportunity for you and uh, as a learner or as a teacher because what you can do is as you raise the parabola here as you raise your quadratic you can observe what's happening to your equation you could see that you're adding a value and this moves the function up where, whereas when you press the down key you're subtracting value What's more interesting and perhaps challenging for students is to observe what's happening when you're moving right or left. For example, why does it make sense that the equation would say x minus 2 squared when we go to the right here? What can we look at? They might be able to quickly identify that this makes sense in a variety of ways. They might look at the fact that when x is 2 over here, your parabola's height is at 0. So how do you get 0 when your input in your function is 2? Well, you take 2, subtract 2, and that is 0, which is part, of course, of why it makes sense as to why this function is 0. The point is that using this model, they can establish some of the basic um, ways that the algebra of the function connects to the polynomial. So if I go left, now I add right to x before I square it. And again, the same logic here. Now I'm at x equals negative 2. If I plug negative 2 into this formula, it gives me 0, which is the height I need. And that might be one way that they look at this. And then they can go further and add to that and see how that affects your equation. Let's take a look. Here you can see the combination of both adding 2x and adding to x squared. Now, that's just one feature. Another one, of course, is to look at how the coefficient on x affects the width of the parabola. So some easy ways to do this, of course, you can just double click, right, and then edit. Maybe give it a coefficient, let's say, of 4. And the student might notice that it becomes narrower in width and steeper in, in the way, the rate at which it grows. They can, of course, change the coefficient to a fraction. Say it's 0.9 and they can notice how that changes. They could, of course, make it negative. But I think what's also nice, and we can zoom out, is that you can easily create different colors here to highlight what's happening. So if I go back to my original of x squared, I can then create another function, let's say g of x, and that could equal 5x squared. And students can see this, right? And you can have them change the color. They could double click the, the graph, go to object properties, and here they can manipulate all kinds of things. I'm gonna you can have them label it, of course, with the name or any combination of name and value. And the color, when they change this, it might be a nice opportunity then to keep track of what's happening with your coefficients in your functions here. Alright, hope that helped.